Can we talk about the military? Yeah. What led to that? Give me the whole story. Um, not knowing too much what I wanted to do straight out of, straight out of high school. Um, going straight into there, them coming on my lunch breaks and setting up their tables and mingling with all the high school students and stuff like that. And then straight out of high school, signed, did my oath and everything and went to the military. Yeah. And you mentioned it sounds like overall you had a good experience with it. Yeah. I mean, it has, it, it has its days. It ain't the best, but um, it taught me a lot. I can say that. I wouldn't go back. I can say that. <laughs> Why not? Um, maybe if it was with the same people, like with basic and AIT and training and stuff like that, yeah, but with today's time and stuff like that, I would not go back. No. Now, I assumed you had a good experience. Overall, would you say it was a good experience or bad experience exactly? It was straight. I had the easiest job. Like, I'm sitting in AC, chilling, doing HR work. I was in guard, reserve, and active. So when I was reserve and guard, we never did PT. I mean, we did PT, but we wasn't really working out. So I was really chilling. but. When I went active, I was still, I mean, I was able to get to it and run and do all that other stuff. And was it an order? Uh, when we're talking guard, reserve, and active, mm -hmm. was there an order in your career of how you did each? Um, guard, guard, reserve, active, just like that. So that was just the order? Just like that. And can you explain that, the differences there? and how that works? Um, guard and, I mean, guard and reserve is basically the same thing. Guard is just within state. Like, when I was guard, that's when the whole Mike Brown thing was going on. So that was our job to protect that whole situation and um, go over there. Um, when I was reserved, like Hurricane, um, I can't remember what Hurricane it was, but it was somewhere in Florida we went over there. Um, and active, chilling, <laughs> chilling, going to the range, going to the field, doing active stuff. Now, when you initially joined the military, you signed a contract for an amount of time. Mm -hmm. So do you sign a contract just for guards specifically, and then when that's over, you do reserve, and then when that's over, you do active duty, or how does that work? Or, or are you doing all three things within that contracted amount of time? Yeah, basically that's what I did. Um, I only did like two different contracts um, when I switched to active, because a guard and reserve is technically the same thing. The only thing they did was just transfer Oh, excuse me, transfer me to like a different unit. But it wasn't like a new contract or nothing like that with reserve. So what was your original contract? Um, six and two, six years on and two years like just on the sitting back, like chilling, just if they call me, then I go out there type thing. And is that contract over with completely at this yeah. point? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did they... So you said six and two. So did they end up using you for those last two? Mm-mm. Um, no. 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 So on those last two, do you still have to report or it's just any time they need you within those two if they call you then? Mm -mm. You don't have to report no more. But I didn't even, technically I didn't even have no two because um, I went active before I can even finish my last two, if that makes sense, I guess. And why the switch up between guard, reserve, and active for you? Um, why not just stay guard or reserve and switch back and forth, if that? Because guard and reserve is like for the birds. Like, 
it wasn't doing nothing mentally for me. Like I wasn't learning my job. I'm sitting around on my phone in the freaking gym or something, just on my ass doing nothing. We didn't work out. We didn't do none of that. PT test probably like once a year, if that. So yeah, I wanted to be more active and get more into my job, learn my job and go from there. And it's more income if you become active duty? Yeah. More responsibility as yeah. well? Yeah. And more activity, it sounds like. Yeah. Unless you get on profile. I got on profile too. What does that mean? That's like, um, it just limits you from doing whatever. So I had a, um, I had a bad hip and they ended up giving me a profile. So it limited me from sitting down for too long or like squatting with this, this much amount of pounds or whatever the case may be. What happened to your hip? Army gave me surgery and yeah, messed it up worse. So I really got out because of that. Can you explain the whole scenario there? Um, doing PT and I fell and had to get surgery and I didn't even see my doctor before I went under. Like <laughs> I saw a private first class and they did me surgery. They had to uh, do a hip anthroscopy or scopy, whatever you want to call it, um, detach my hip, shave it and all that. And yeah, and I was on bed rest for like a month. It wasn't getting better. Like my hips still be popping and it still be hurting and so. And it's something that still bothers you today yeah. outside of your military contract. Yeah, exactly. And did you use this as an excuse to get out or? Mm -mm. I mean, I was on, I was, I couldn't, when I had my fall and stuff, it was so hard to walk. Like I thought I was going to be like paralyzed from the waist down. I could not, I was really scared. <laughs> and then they did surgery and I really couldn't walk. I had a cane and everything, crutches, just limping, little tink tink. I saw you walk in the lobby today. You look pretty normal. Yeah. I mm -hmm. didn't see a limp. I didn't yeah. see any of that. Yeah, because now it's just like pain. It's not really, I can walk, I can do whatever, but as far as like pain and um, lifting heavy stuff, squatting, I don't squat. I used to be able to squat, I don't squat no more. I barely work out, but I need to. <laughs> I know that uh, in another clip, we had talked about body work mm -hmm. and you admitted to getting your stomach snatched and uh, some of that fat transferred to your hips or mm -hmm. butt area, a BBL is what it's called, fat transfer. Yeah. But was that the reason why you also did that because you don't work out or? Mm, no, because when, when I was in training for military and stuff like that, excuse me, my body was the best it ever looked. I can't even lie, like eating all that peanut butter and working out and just eating good and just, my body was so good. But I don't know, sometimes you just want a little extra some, some in certain areas, so that's really why I did it. Okay. I didn't know if that was because you, you're not working out, so you're starting to accumulate fat and, you know, mm -mm. maybe that was the easiest thing to do was to get it transferred from one part of your body, get it snatched and yeah. Yeah, fulfill no. another part, body part. Yeah, but no. <laughs> now, can you explain actually what happened in PT that led to the actual hip accident? What you were doing that led to it? I'm so clumsy, that's the thing. Like, I'm really clumsy and me tripping over myself, clumsy, me, I'm really clumsy. <laughs> I'm like really clumsy. So that's what happened, me tripping over, I thought I tripped over like a rock or something. No, it's just me tripping over my own two feet. And I go flying, just and fall. And so you, f on. you fall? Yeah, I fell. How far down or how many feet um, or? No, I'm, I'm like running. Okay. I'm running hard, I'm running fast and hit my hip on the concrete and it really hurt. Did they get this on video? No. Mm -mm. 
we outside like in the morning doing PT. And when this happens, do you do you I'm, hear a pop? Do you hear a click? Do you I'm what does it up feel on like? The ground. Like I'm balled up on the ground. People coming to my rescue, trying to help me. I'll get the um, the medic people, whatever, and then I just go to sick call and go from there. And I guess your wheelchair. Yeah, for sure. At that bound or at yeah. that point until you get the surgery. Yeah. And how soon do you get surgery after the accident? Um. Rough estimate. It took a minute, like three months, maybe. It took a minute for sure. So you're in a wheelchair for three months? No, I wasn't in a wheelchair for three months. Mm -mm. No, them taking me from the the incident to the hospital was in a wheelchair. Them give them giving me medicine after sick call and all that other stuff to help ease my pain and me just sitting there chilling and really on leave until I feel a little bit better and then I have my surgery and then stuff like that. But I'm not, in between that time for me falling and stuff to surgery, I wasn't doing nothing. But when you did have to walk, would you use a um, walker, a cane? Yeah, a cane, my crutches, my crutches first. And then once I like progressed or whatever, I started using a cane. And then you have the surgery. Yeah. And then what happens after that? And then I'm back to crutches and canes. Never in a wheelchair <laughs> again? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, I understand why you joined the military. What was your, did you have family members that had joined the military themselves before you? Um, like Air Force, Navy, nobody was ever Army, I don't think. I think my grandpa was Army. My mom's dad was Army for some reason. I think he was military. He's Sicilian, um, but he was, I think he was military. Yeah. So what was your family's reaction for you joining? Um, really during that time, me joining and my family, like that's when, that's the whole time when I was moving out and stuff. So I'm sure they, I don't know how they was feeling. I wasn't talking to them anyway, but, um, they probably didn't care. I don't know. Why weren't you talking to them at the time? Cause I had moved out, you know, parents get mad and stuff and they held grudges. They were mad and held grudges before you moving, or it was because of the move? Because of the move, yeah. Uh, prior to you joining the military also, did you ever do anything in school like the ROTC or mm -mm, no. any of those mm -mm. programs there? No. And what branch do you actually join? Uh, Army. And why that branch out of cool. the different branches? I um I wanted to do Air Force, but Air Force wasn't contacting me back fast enough because they I guess they got their count or whatever they need. They reached their monthly whatever quota. Yeah, so Army was calling me back, so I'm like, okay, I'll go with Army. Never got deployed overseas. Mm -mm. No, I was supposed to go to Afghanistan, but that's when I got my surgery and stuff, so I couldn't go. Speaking of that surgery, because, and w explain to me this, you sign a contract for six slash two, mm -hmm. right? So when does that actual incident happen within that six year time frame? The end of the, the end of the six years, like near the end anyway. Yeah. Prior to that uh, incident, were you thinking about renewing your contract because uh, and let me yeah yeah i'm sorry um i wanted to be a warrant officer and everything like i wanted to go airborne i wanted to be a warrant officer i wanted to do i really wanted to be in the military um but went the other way 
because of the accident. Mm -hmm. yep. And and explain this to me too, because you said you signed two contracts. Mm -hmm. So one contract was six slash two. Well, yeah, but the guard and reserve contract wasn't really fully completed because I went active on my last um, two, three years. I went active my last two or three years. So it really wasn't fully completed and they wasn't tripping off of it. So I did like a, um, I can't think of the word transferring from reserve to active, but just on the tip of my tongue. So, and I'm sorry if I'm being redundant here, but originally when you sign a contract, it was six slash two? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Because the, I guess what I'm confused is that other contract. Yeah. No, my active contract was only like a three-year contract. But, yeah, it was just like a three-year contract. So now I'm even more confused, if you don't mind breaking it down, the contracts. Um, so basically, I went into the military 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 18 is when I went active, 19, 20. 19 is when I had my surgery, 20 is when well, 19, end of 19 is when I had my surgery and got out. So, 20 is when I got out, early 20. So I guess that's my confusion is initially, before you even start the military, you sign a contract. How much was that contract time-wise for? Um, what? Five years. Five. It was supposed to be six, but I did five. Yeah. And that was like guard and reserve combined. And then once you choose to do active duty, I guess that contract is over mm -hmm. prematurely. And you sign a new contract to do active duty. And that contract was supposed to be three years. Mm -hmm but you don't finish it because of the accident. Right, yep. So when you get, do they kick you out? Are you released? Mm -hmm. What was the mm -hmm. proper terminology for that moment there? Um, honorably discharged, that's it. Yep. On medical terms. <laughs> Could you have stayed if you wanted to, even with the injury? Maybe not do active duty anymore mm. or, or certain things because of the injury, but couldn't you still remain part of the military or work for the military if you wanted to in some capacity with that injury or no? I could, but it's just the stress along with it, like on your feet all day. Like you go to work four thirty, five o'clock in the morning, you night and then ain't no telling what your NCO gonna be having you do and you probably won't leave till like ten o'clock at night or 11 o'clock, depending on how many PRs or record reviews or whatever you got to do. Ain't no telling, and I ain't got, I ain't got time. <laughs> I ain't got time. When it comes to your military experience, what was your biggest pet peeve with it? What bothered you the most about it, if anything? NCOs, just higher-ups, just acting like kids, just like, I feel like military people are the worst, like, ugh. That's just like a whole different story, but they're just like irky and just, they like to play the rank game and, I don't know, it's very few people that's real in the military. I only came across like two, if that, but yeah, no. They just try you and they try you because, oh, they rank might be higher than yours or something like that or I said do this, so you need to do that, or I'm gonna go tell this person or that person. That's why you get cool with the higher ups. When I'm, cause I was in brigade, so you got battalion level, and you got brigade. I'm at brigade, so I'm cool with all the higher ups and everything. So people can really like come to me sideways. I feel. 
Was there ever sexual misconduct? Mm, no, I mean, people, people say slick stuff all the time, but that don't go in one ear and out the other. You never reported anybody about it? Mm -mm. No, because it wasn't to the extent. Looking back, do you wish you would have? Mm -mm, because it wasn't that serious, honestly. Niggas being niggas. Now, what was the opposite of the pet peeve for you, okay? I asked you what bothered you the most about it, but mm -hmm. the, antithesis, the antithesis of that, uh, what was the best part about being in the military for you and your experience? Mm. If, if that was the worst part or your pet peeve? Um, I made good money. I felt like, I mean, the military life really ain't that bad. It's not, it's just how you cope with it, you know? And I just can't live like that every day, you know, waking up doing repetitive stuff every day. I don't, I don't know. Um, just outside with nature, I guess. You know, just experience, experiencing different cultures, different people and everything. Um, new friends, well not new friends, but you meet new people every day. I can say probably that. Yeah. Are you still friends with people you've met mm -hmm. in yeah. the military since? Has that carried on? Yes. Did you do music during your military experience? Mm -mm. No, I just started doing music probably like two months ago. 2020? Yes. 2020. Did you see others doing music in the military? Um, no, 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 no. Anyone that you went to the military with that ended up becoming famous? Um, not really famous per se, but like Instagram famous or something, I guess. Yeah like a model type thing, yeah. I know a few military models for sure, but that's it. Care to share who? Um, my girl, Marcella, Bad Cello on Instagram, B-A-D-D-Cella, I think, C-E-L-L-A. That's my girl. She's still in Texas though. Um, yeah, she went up. She's a hottie in military wear. Um, it's some other girls too. I can't think of the, their names, but her for sure. And you actually met her in the military? Yeah, yeah. I had met her like, I think we used to do like share for shares, like when share for shares was popping back then or something like that. And I ain't never meet her. And then I ended up getting stationed where she was at and we just ended up linking up and stuff like that. Now, had this accident not happened, could you have seen yourself in the military until you retired? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I would have went warrant. Yeah. Any regrets looking no. back how no. things played out? Everything happens for a reason everything it's so crazy how like stuff has happened over my life and sometimes i just keep saying to myself keep saying to myself that things is not happening to me it's happening for me and everything happens for a reason i just keep that in mind i know that for sure so i'm not mad i'm, I'm happy with the way with the way my life is going and the route is taken i'm not mad at all was joining the military in the first place the right decision for you? Yeah, for sure. It, it got me off my feet, for sure. So you don't wish you would have bypassed that and went mm -mm. straight I into modeling or mm -mm. music or? No. And what about the branch choice? Did you make the right branch choice with the Army? Yeah, I do with the Army. Um, Air Force probably was more chill or laid back, but 
I'm good with the Army. Now, what about uh, relationship-wise? Did you have a relationship with a boyfriend? Uh, I did. When you were in the military? I did. Was it someone that you actually met in the military? Um, was it another person that was in the military you had a relationship with? or was it? A yeah, it was another person in the military I had a relationship with. And was that something you were public about? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how long did that last for? Um, it actually just ended. <laughs> um, it lasted about six years, probably. Yeah, so like my whole military career. And it ended after you were, it ended after you were already out of the military, carried on a little bit, mm -hmm. and then ended. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly that. Are they still in the military themselves? Mm -mm. No. Did they leave the military before you did? They did. They were also honorable discharge? Uh, yeah. Yeah, reserves though. And why did things end? Um... <laughs> That's a whole different story. Um, just sometimes people needs to need to take time and space and find themselves and find themselves. So I'm giving people time to find themselves. You know, I did what I could do. So now I'm going to fly away. Yeah. And who ended things with who? I did. You. Yeah. You broke it off I with broke him. It off. And is this on? Did it? Did things end on good terms, mm -hmm. no terms, or bad terms? It's good terms. Still cordial. Like still, everything's still good. Like, I'm not gonna change. Like, I'm still the same person. Like. I'm not gonna look at nobody differently. Like, it's mutual. Like, I don't want no drama. I don't got time. So, everything is good. And was this relationship also public on social media? Mm hmm Yeah. It was. Was there any pressure from fans to stay in it? Um, well, no. Okay, well, it was on social media, but it wasn't to where, like, people, like, why y'all break? I think people don't even know, honestly, that I've broken up with this person because I don't broadcast that stuff. Why not if you were public with him? Um, why not? Why didn't I broadcast it that yeah. I broke up with him? Um, if people already knew publicly you were in a relationship with this person, why not keep them updated? Why not? I mean, people know, but people don't know, no, for real. So I don't feel like it was, I don't feel like it was their business to know, like, oh, we broke up. Like, let me run and tell them we broke up type thing. Can this relationship between you and him be fixed? Mm-mm. No. Was there, did you guys ever try couples therapy? Mm-mm. No. Looking back, do you think there should have been? I mean, I tried, but at that time, but niggas don't want to go to therapy until it's too late, you know, so I ain't got time. What if this person <laughs> changed? Um, no, I just don't see myself, like, I just don't see myself being in that no more. And it's like no heart feelings or nothing, but, you know, some, you just know when you moved on and it's no heart feelings. Have you ever taken an ex-boyfriend back? No. 
Because why would you be an ex? Well, you know, one of my questions to you was, what if a, a person changed? What if they changed for the better? What if something that you didn't like or contributed to the breakup got fixed or? Mm-mm. If, if it got that far to that we had a breakup, and, you know, I ain't got time. <laughs> I don't have time. Like, I don't have time. Like, people get cut off every day. Best friends, whoever, anybody can get it. I ain't got time. Can people mature though? Can people get wiser? Can mm-hmm. yeah, but not from like yeah. But as far as like coming back into my life, I'm good. You know, I experienced that person already. And uh, so five, ten years from now, this person comes back into your life. Let's just say you're single and he's changed for the better. He says, I'm a changed man. Maybe he even looks better. Maybe Mm-mm. you're still okay on that. Mm-hmm. When a woman is fed up, there ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing. Now, what about your future relationship? Mm-hmm. If you get into another relationship, will you be public about it on social media or? Mm-mm. I don't think so, no. I like it like that. Just low key. Is having a relationship while you were in the military easy or hard? Uh, for my situation, <laughs> it was difficult. I ain't gonna say it was hard, but it was difficult because I don't be having time, and people be playing with me. Like I'm, people be playing with me, so it was it was difficult for me. I asked you a lot of questions here about the military. Is there anything I didn't ask that you would want our audience to know about in Um, regards to your experience with the military or with the military or maybe you get questions about it and I didn't ask you, but any other things you want our audience to know? um, Or if not, that's okay. I'm just curious if we covered everything. I remember one time, When I was um, guard, I think I was guard, media takeout had posted me like um, my civilian picture next to my military picture or whatever and combined it. And it went like crazy viral, like it went so crazy. So I got people, battle buddies I know in um, Massachusetts, my recruiter calling me, my freaking first sergeant trying to call me, get a hold of me, like what's going on and stuff like that. I ended up getting like reprimanded or something. It's like a verbal counseling or something. And they were like, you need to stop taking sexy pictures. And I'm like, I can't help it. (laughs) But no, yeah, I got in trouble that one time. I thought that was like a fun fact, so. How did that, how did you even get on media? How'd they get a hold of your stuff? How'd you even? Instagram, it had a, well, it was definitely Instagram. They got pictures off my Instagram. And my pictures be going like crazy viral. Some, well, especially when I was in the military, my military pictures went crazy. But my, when catfish accounts get a hold of my pictures and they be posting my pictures and stuff, I don't know. I feel like that just opens the door for more people to see me and stuff or try to look up me and stuff like that. So. I think that's how they found me. I don't know, but they found it and they posted the pictures side by side. They was like, this is the baddest officer. And I wasn't even an officer, the baddest officer um, straight out of Atlanta, Georgia. And I don't even think I was living in Atlanta at the time. Like it was just lies after lies after lies. And it's just my pictures, so. So were you taking sexy pictures in your military no, outfit? No, mm no, I was taking regular selfie mirror pictures in my military outfit, but it's my civilian pictures, like me in a bathing suit or me with a little cute little going out dress, club dress or something like that. And then they merge it. Were you modeling while you were in the military? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, model is like, 
I was like an Instagram model, honestly, because I really wasn't doing gigs, gigs in the military until I really got out. I was doing gigs, guard and reserve, but when I went active, I really wasn't modeling, modeling, I guess. What types of gigs would you do when you were in guard and reserve? Like shoots, like video shoots and stuff. Yeah, so I'd be doing video shoots, photo shoots. And then active, you didn't do it. You get out of the military and you go back to modeling gigs? Yeah, yeah. It's easy money to me. And I'm cute, so I just do it. I don't have to do it. I don't need it. And that's the thing. Like, I I have so much I want to do. And, like, I do nails, too. Like, I just have, I do microblading. Like, I do all this stuff. I went to school for mortuary. Like, I have all these things and ideas and stuff and I just can't stick to one so once I found out I got this voice to rap that's what I've been sticking to and that's what I'm going to stick to and just keep investing in I'm tired of investing in stuff and not messing with it not picking it up again or something like that how did you discover the voice um I don't know that's a good question this is something you wanted to do or somebody suggested you do or put a battery behind your back to do? <laughs> no, I just, I just randomly one day I just said to my man at the time, I'm finna start rapping. Like, I'm, it's so easy. Like, I'm hearing JT and, you know, City Girls and just people just rapping. I'm like, this shit too easy. And then once I just started rapping and like putting that oomph behind it and just making my voice just sound good. Like my voice already sound good, but when I'm behind beats, behind the speaker and stuff like that, it sounds amazing. I have interviewed the City Girls, and if people wanna watch my interview with them, they can search for that on this YouTube channel. But when it came to you telling your man, your ex-boyfriend, mm -hmm. Uh, that you do want to pursue music, did that contribute to the breakup? Mm -mm. No, no, not at all. Did he do music himself? He used to, like 2012 type deal, I think. Yeah, but yeah, no. Was he any good? <laughs> No. <laughs> no. He slick with heart sometimes, I'm not going to lie to you, but no. They, he was like more of a, like a cheap keep type rapper.